we back. Batman review. You know, we got the usual suspects in there. You know, we got Don. Yes, sir. As we proceed to give you what you need, the prodigal Don has returned. You got King. Getting scarred over here. Still watching this video. These dudes told me to watch. I'm not going to say the title. This is horrendous. Um, I'm processing a lot right now. What's up, y'all? The man's on <laughs> dial up. And then we got a uh, head producer, Warwolf. Hey, what's up? Uh, yeah, this is not going to be a spoiler re- review. This is non spoiler right now. So don't even worry. We're not going to ruin the movie for you. Just giving our, I guess, what our thoughts and impressions of it. I guess yes. You um, we'll start with you, Warwolf. How did you feel about the movie? I didn't like was blown away like I was with Spider-Man. I did enjoy it, but it's not like, oh my God, like, you know, screaming and, you know, screaming with joy. Uh, it's a good movie. Good shots, good dialogue, Definitely. good character, character development. Maybe I'm just kind of like fatigued on the Batman stuff because I really hoped for Ben Affleck to get his own solo movie and out of nowhere this solo movie comes out it's kind of like with the joker right we already had a joker and then there was a a recasting good movie the joker but i kind of wanted to see jared leto kind of retry the position that's how i kind of felt with uh what's his name patterson patterson what's his first name robert Robert. So yeah, he he did he did a good job. I, I like the like the bat suit, how it was very doable suit that anyone could wear. It wasn't like full comic y. It was very military, almost like a bike, a makeshift uh street bike outfit. Armored plates in the chest. It wasn't like he wasn't like fully bulletproof. There's only certain parts of his body that was bulletproof. I like how uh he wasn't superhuman and shit. Taking bullets really, really hurt him. I like that uh, realistic aspect of it. And the intro of uh, when they showed him off. That's some. That's like great sound design. And how they did the stomping. That was some great, great audio design. I give it a B plus. Kiki, uh, what did you think? It was perfect. It was literally perfect. In my opinion. In my, in my personal opinion i feel like that mug was perfect it was everything i had act it was everything i had ever wanted in a batman movie ever since i ever since growing up watching the animated series and playing arkham and whatnot i literally finally it, it took it it took them long enough it took them a long ass time it took them really since 2012 because that was the technically the last technically the last solo batman movie but they did it and I'm very glad that we ended up getting this interpretation of the character. Because not only is it accurate, it's very fucking good. From just the the from just the scene from just the scenery to the set design, the characters, every character didn't feel it, every character had a reason for being there. It didn't feel like, oh, here's this, here's this, here's this guy, this guy. Every character I felt like had developed had de- had development throughout the course throughout the course of the film. You really get to see Bruce in etern- eternal like Bruce's struggle in this movie. Riddler was great. It's just God. It's it's funny you say that because like even like uh like a side character or a, or something you think that's just like not that important it really felt like it, it was important like it, every character had a role literally every character had a role it wasn't like they just got shoehorned in for five minutes and you never saw them again no every character had some part to play in that movie and i feel like no actor did bad did bad either every everyone was everyone was everyone had their had their a game up bro like that that stuff was wild like i had never seen a, a Batman movie like they never really seen outside of like I never really seen a superhero comic book movie like this in a really really long time 
So that was another thing that just shocked me, like, oof, like. Um, so what do you give it on a scale from one to ten? I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten. What do you think, King? Man, first of all, that's the Gotham was amazing. Just the city by itself, literally. It. it was so like much. a mix. It was oh, like a mix. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like, it remind me of Arkham Knight, dog. It, it was like a mi- It was like it. It was like a mixture of Tim Burton and Arkham Knight, like the in the Ark seat in the Arkham Knight CD. That's what I loved about it. That was beautiful. The suit, the suit was great and everything. It, it's probably the best like live action Batman suit. Shout out that bat chest piece in the middle. I didn't know it was detachable. That's amazing. Oh, I knew right off rip. I, I was low key thinking like, where's this battering that he only need the one? Um, what else? Riddler was great. I loved that. He reminded me. Yeah, I tell you, you was there at the theater with us saying, you know, he reminded me of my brother. The way, like, if my brother was to turn into a villain, that's how he'd act. Oh my gosh. Um, the riddles was actually good. You know, it was dark. It was what I wanted. But there was a little bit of, like, subtle comedy. Like, oh, this is a sick individual. But that was a little funny. Um, The move, like, the actual length of the movie, it's like the Dark Knight three hours versus, like, this three hours. Like, you feel like the Dark Knight three hours is better i don't want to say better like more it's like it doesn't feel as much like three hours this definitely felt like three hours only because somebody asked me what time it was during the movie and they pointed and i was like oh damn we still got another hour and i was happy as fuck i'll be watching about that then, the, i feel like the dark night was long as shit the, 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 no, no like for no like for real for real like even me just re-watching it now it's like i get it like can we it kind of like I don't know I don't know if that was just because in the dark night the pacing was just slower it's like this one this it's, one it's it's the pacing and then the the cuts the way Nolan cuts to different parts it really fucks up the pacing like especially the um the scene where the camera hovers around Batman Jim Gordon and fucking uh Harvey Dent that there's a lot of stuff the way it jumps from it, even the beginning, the way it jumps, which that scene doesn't make sense. Think like to it. me, it like to me, it didn't feel like with this one, it didn't feel like three hours. Like I felt the pacing, I felt like the pacing went at a very good, at a very good pace. And it just, it really just kept you on the edge of your seat. Like when niggas, like before I saw this, people were literally saying like this movie gonna like have you think like, and it really does have you, it really does have you thinking it's and second guessing yourself on certain stuff. Out of a ten, what do you what do you give it, King? Oh, out of a ten, I get that thing like a like a nine because all the actors did. Uh, Jim Gordon was on one tonight. That gliding scene was great. Oh. Y'all know the best part of that gliding scene. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for him. <laughs> crazy, you know. Um, well, she, well, I was like, okay. you know, she, she was fine. She was fine and everything. And I liked her. Her, her side story was a little cool. I, I fucked with Colin Farrell as Penguin, even though he don't look nothing like how he used to look without that makeup on. It's hilarious. Shout out the adrenaline boost. Sometimes you just need a little something in your system. <laughs> oh my God. What, what, the fuck? what was that thing here? <laughs> Bro, what did you say? Yeah, got possessed. Nah, I, I feel like this movie. The first watch, I said a nine out of ten, mainly because I felt like it was some scenes that could have been shorter. But after the second watch, I think it's a ten out of ten actually. And I think if you would have cut anything else in that movie, it probably would have fucked up a lot of context and questions you'll have about the movie. Like I feel like this movie is still gonna be talked about for a good 10, 20 years. Like kind of like how you question like joker and like his background and stuff like that because you know pe- people are still debating about that shit i feel like with this movie people are going to be debating about the background of riddler and stuff that he says and does um a did little they ever bit of- say his name they did yeah, they did. He, he calls himself they the riddler. Did. no That's, his real no, name no they did no. 
Ooh, I, I find he is spoiler. That's all. Exactly. Yeah, all yeah, I'm saying yeah. it's it's his name, but it's not like his government name from the comic book. Like Nick ain't his last name in this, I think. Yeah. And they changed his backstory and all that, but it still worked. She gave me a, a telltale uh, impression. Yeah, yeah but without being all. able to throw hands. Yep. I don't know. I, I think. Look, I'm gonna say straight up. If you're a Marvel fan, like a uh, dick eater, I'll just say that. Not even a fan, but a dick eater, a dick rider. Don't watch this movie because you just. I already see the bozos that complain on Twitter and stuff about the dumbest shit. No, for real. It's like it's cool that you like the Marvel formula and all that, and it's what you've gotten accustomed to. But it's like there's still different type of movies before these movies drop that we still consider good. And all that, and there's still gonna be movies dropping that are different from Marvel, and we're gonna still consider them. No, good. it's it's, it's like, not it's not even that, King. I'm talking about the people that are just that is. just clearly <laughs> not an issue, and they're trying to make it an issue. And it, you know, it's bad when you have no likes and niggas are just roasting the shit out of you. Like <laughs> ratio. I'm a, I'm a strong believer of literally. There there is wrong opinions. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, for <laughs> you, real. Really you, you know how I feel about that. that um, there wasn't enough humor in the movie. Like it's a Batman movie. You didn't come here to laugh. I'm no, not. But even then, this, that that's a lie in itself. Because that's this a lie. Humor, because there, there is, like, like I said, there, there, there is by himself humor. and there his dialogue is, is fucking funny. There. It's 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 there is humor in there. There is there is lots of moments that's gonna make you laugh. The Shout issue out, is, bro. yeah, there, there's humor in this movie. The, the, the issue is, it's not typical. People are gotten so used. How the MCU does superheroes, they expect the joke every five minutes. No, and that, it ain't necessary. I don't even think it's necessary like that in Marvel movies for them to do that. I mean, that's just because, like, I've always I've, I've said this as good as the MCU is, they have a good, they have a place, they have a play it safe formula, and I understand it because why, fi- why don't break what I mean, don't don't fix it's not broken. I'll always give DC a little bit more credit because they at least, even if the movie itself isn't good, I can at least under I can at least understand that they're at least trying to take a like a different risk, a different approach. It's not just them just doing the same movie from 2008 and we're in 2022. Basically, like each individual character's like own movie feels like it tailors to them and then like you look at Marvel and their single movie like their solo movies it's like the only one that's different like that for real is Captain America uh, like I was telling the homies the other day I feel like a lot of super mainly like Marvel a lot of superhero movies don't take risk anymore and especially the MCU formula like it's the oh. same thing villain dies at the end that doesn't need to die and, characters are not really taking a, a risk writing wise or in the story wise where it's like a, a a dragon ball super situation you 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 know going into it was was basically gonna go go down right? go could go win you're not even just that it's just like there's no really niggas are like important characters the main characters are gonna die so it's kind of just like yeah you, you know it, 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 it degrades it degrades the value of it because it's like mm-hmm. you go into mc like put it to you like this Walking in Spider Man No Way Home, did you honestly think they was gonna kill off like Ned or Zendaya or any quote unquote important care quote unquote important character to Spider Man? Like, you know, yes, now yes, they did kill off they did kill off they did kill off Aunt May. They did kill off Aunt May. And while in the mythos of Spider Man she's important and those overall MCU movies, you can literally take her out a homecoming apart from home. And no value will be lost. That's what I'm saying. Like, you you kind of need know. you kind of need Ned and M- as you kind of need as under as underdeveloped as MJ was in those first two. You still kind of need her. You still need you most definitely need Ned. But, uh, but, but I, back, back on like, topic on, on him. But, then, but back on uh, topic. Um, I say this movie is a ten out of ten. I'm actually sticking with that after watching it twice, and I want I was gonna watch it again today, but I said let me chill the fuck out. <laughs> I'll probably watch it again like like next weekend probably. But I think if you're like a true Batman fan, and for a casual, it probably is not gonna mean nothing to you, especially if you just you didn't read none of the comics or watch the shows or anything like that. You probably thinking, oh man, Dark Knight better, or why that nigga not, you know 
doing the same shit like that, nigga, because that, that's a whole nother combo. I don't even... Oh, niggas really think Batman is part of League of Shadows. It's just like, Jesus Christ. But um, I think this movie has... If you're a true Batman fan, it has everything that you would like about it. It gives you the animated series vibes. It gives you the Arkham Knight game vibes from the fighting scenes, the chase scenes. Like, there... There's a lot of stuff. The detective side of it, and this is what I mainly was hyped up, and I even said like this might be the greatest Batman movie, just off that alone because we've never seen that side of him. And him being a, a year two Batman, where he's not, he's still learning to be the, the the greatest detective, but he's not there yet, and he's not like a perfect Batman, and that's something I really appreciate because I feel like in most superhero movies back then niggas already knew off rip how to use their powers and gadgets and stuff and it's like come on now that don't well, we seasoned we've been in here but you know that that's just nitpicking I, I just say go watch it it's a really good movie it's gonna be talked about 20 years from now and honestly even like this is no bias or anything like this is definitely top three like live action movie and it's definitely top three if you're considering like the animated movies as well I'm, I made my, myself personally I think it's the best live action movie and people are going to debate off of that between Dark Knight and all that but overall I definitely think it's worth it hey, um, look, I'm not going to lie do not skip for a scene don't go to the restroom don't do it I'm not going to lie I feel like they should have had Alfred in the movie a little bit more yeah uh, they, they underused Andy Serkis a little bit to me but uh, I'm I'm gonna stop this episode right here right now because uh, we're not trying to spoil it for you guys that haven't seen it yet, haven't gotten a chance. Definitely go check it out. Next episode is definitely gonna be.